Good morning. It's me again, Victoria B, Victoria B, 333 Tarot. Um, I'm just going to do like a little short meditation video um, from the Rumi Oracle by Alana Fairchild, an invitation into the heart of the divine. I did this before, but I'm only going to do one card, and it's called The Cloak of Christ. Isn't that a pretty card? The Cloak of Christ. And it is card number four. So all I'm going to do is just read out of the book for you. Let me give you a little introduction about Rumi. He was a mystic scholar, poet in the 13th century. He is from Persia, which is now Iraq, Iran or Iraq, I think. And um, all this is healing energy. And this is my favorite deck. So I, I like to do a, this is a little protection ritual. It's for anybody that's watching. Divine masculine, divine feminine, anybody. Anybody that's watching this. Um, I like to put, I like to send out some protection for me and for anybody watching my videos. So I am going to read from the book on this. And then we're going to do a little meditation, and this is going to be very short. So I would advise doing this because everybody needs protection, protection from any negative entities or people that might um, that might wish you harm or be wishing bad on you or just to get in touch with God because this is what this is about. This is the cloak of Christ. And again, that's card number four. Okay. Beautiful poetry in this. I'm going to read this to you guys. The Cloak of Christ. In the school of humanity, when you become intimate with God, you reside on the king's throne and teach the angels the nature of the divine. Rumi. Okay, let's see. My sacred brother, he who shares my heart and yours, beating as one in harmony with the great unending love, brings you the mantle of his protection. Do you imagine that there is any part of your life, of your body, of your soul, that is outside the realm of his divine love and protection? Offer all to him, leaving nothing cast aside. He and I together receive you absolutely without condition now. The compassion born out of our own struggles tempers the karmic weight of divine justice. We have been through the same journey you are taking now, sweet divine soul. In oneness with the divine heart, we know of your efforts and your struggles. So what is bestowed upon you now is the restoration of forgiveness, of kindness, of mercy. My sacred brother speaks to you. He shall receive your darkness and your light, the angel of your heart and the demon of your fear. Nothing is greater than my brother's love for you. Nothing is greater than my holy passion for you. Take refuge under the cloak of Christ, the mantle of my sacred brother, and I know that you are being held in our loving sanctuary. This is the message. You are tired, beloved. Your soul has been ravaged inside and out, and you are succumbing to struggle. That is not karmic or necessary, but a symptom of fatigue and weariness of heart, mind, body, and soul. That which plagues you, whether something specific or a general nagging malaise or anxiety you cannot quite pin down, is not as powerful as you fear. You are being given a grace here and now that it may be overcome your reactions are a symptom of your exhaustion and a sign that you need respite, sanctuary, restoration. They are not a sign that something must be done, so much as a sign that something must be received or allowed. That something is healing made possible through divine protection. 
In this instant, protection is bestowed through the cloak of Christ. Show it again. This cloak is a sacred container that places your body and soul within the loving energy of the Christ consciousness. This unconditionally loving energy is not limited to being bearing its name, but is shared by Rumi and with many other holy ones. It is typified by wholeness. There is nothing within you that would cause Christ to turn away from you. Not even those parts of you that, you, that may fill you with fear, shame, guilt, or regret. He and Rumi are sacred brothers, loving and supportive of each other, and they see your soul as one of their family, one of their own. You are so loved by both of them equally and without measure. Can you allow yourself to take refuge in this knowledge to feel it not only as an idea, nourishing as that is, but as a visceral reality where you complete the sacred honoring ritual and allow yourself to feel the peace and receive healing. The knowledge of Christ's unconditional love for you is a safe space, a space to, a space to fall into when you are struggling. It is a sacred container for your healing process, an energetic field that is stronger and more enduring than ever, than even the greatest fears or doubts. The purpose of this sacred container is to provide you with a feeling of being held. A feeling of being held. I'm going to repeat that. You know how it feels to be held. We all need that. Especially for those times when you're a feeling that you cannot hold yourself. Sometimes we just need permission to break down, to really let go, to come apart, to be dissembled so that we can break through, be lifted up, and come together in a new, more spiritually coherent and loving form to move forward. For you, this is essential. There is a place, person, place, thing, or belief that has come to be like a manacle around your wrist or an iron ball and leg iron, preventing you from moving forward with the grace you have earned spiritually. You are being empowered here to shed that. Don't hesitate. Let yourself be cloaked in the Christ energy and receive the spiritual assistance you deserve now. There is a reason for this. The unfolding of your life purpose is now taking a turn for the better and your energy is required to fuel that new life. I'm going to repeat that. There is a reason for this. The unfolding of your life purpose is now taking a turn for the better and your energy is required to fuel that new life. This is particularly so if you have also drawn the Oracle of the Passion for Purpose, which I didn't do that, or intuitively feel drawn to read the message of this card. And me, I was intuitively drawn to read the message of this card. This is why I'm doing this little um, healing, healing ritual right now for you guys. Just remember that whenever we are asked to release something, it is because the divine wishes to fill our hearts and hands with more. Do not hold on to scraps for fear that the feast will be denied to you. Use your nose. Smell the feast awaiting you. Okay, I'm going to take my glasses off here. We're going to do this sacred honoring ritual. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Okay, open your arms wide above your head and tip your gaze gently up towards the heavens. If you're inside, imagine or intend that you can gaze beyond the physical structure of the ceiling right into the sky that lies above. So open your arms wide above your head. Okay, look up to the sky. And we're inside right now, so you would imagine that you could see up into the sky. And it's uh, still dark outside, so I'm pretending like I'm seeing the stars. So, let's read this. Then you lower your arms to prayer position at your heart and say aloud, Jesus Christ and Rumi, who love me without condition, 
offer me the cloak of Christ, the mantle of divine protection, now that I may receive the karmic grace and healing I need through power and the mercy of your presence. Thank you. After that, and then we just sit. While you're sitting, sit quietly and imagine you are surrounded by a dark, comforting cloak. You can easily breathe through it. You can easily see light within it or filtering through it if it needs be. Or you may feel comfortable in the darkness. Let it be whatever is most relaxing and soothing for you. You may even imagine it to be the night sky dappled with stars wrapping around you. Close your eyes and relax now for as long as it feels good. That may be for a minute, 15 or 20 minutes or longer. Just be with that, just be with what feels appropriate and best for you at this time. You may notice strong energetic sensations or emotions during this process or in the day following. You may notice repetitive thought patterns that you need to confront and challenge with more loving thoughts. You may have significant dreams in the evening following also. It may be very subtle for you, so much that you wonder if anything has happened and if it has worked. It has. The effect will be demonstrated at the right time. Trust. Okay. Let's close our eyes. Okay, you put your hands up to the sky. I'm inside. You're inside your house now, probably, because it's um, 436 in the morning. And you look up to the ceiling, and you imagine that you can see out that you're that you can see outside, you're in the night sky, and then you get that in, imagine that, imagine that, imagine the stars in the sky, imagine yourself close to the sky. After you do that, pull your hands down in prayer position. And imagine that you have the cloak of Christ around you. What I like to do is I like to picture myself in the sky with a cloak around me, like since it's like a like a purple cloak around me. And I'm surround it's around me and the stars are surround and I'm surrounded by the stars. So you would sit in meditation. Take some deep breaths. Imagine yourself in the night sky, sitting amongst, amongst the stars with a purple cloak around you, representing Christ, and all around you are the stars, and it's just you and Christ and those stars up in the sky. Make sure to take the uh, breathe in through your mouth, through your nose, I mean, and blow out through your mouth.
imagine yourself up in the sky tonight, right now. You're surrounded by stars. You're floating in the sky, surrounded by stars, with the cloak of Christ over you, a purple cloak of Christ, of protection. Okay, what else do we need to do here? Um, you can do this meditation. It's very short. It does make you feel better. I feel better already. I just want to share that with you. I felt compelled to do that tonight for some reason. I'm going to read the poem one more time so you'll get what this is about. This is Rumi, the healing deck, the cloak of Christ. In the school of humanity, when you become intimate with God, you reside on the king's throne and teach the angels the nature of the divine. Rumi. Namaste. Good morning. I hope you have a blessed day and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button please. Thank you and I will see you later. Thank you for joining me. Mwah. All my love to you.